Shalom, all praises, honor, and glorification unto our power. Call Halim La Allah and Awi Yahweh Ba Shem Yahushai Ba Shem Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahushai scattered across the earth. This is your brother Ayla coming to you with another lesson. And uh, the title of this lesson will be Pride Will Be the Death of Many of You People. And uh, Lord willing, the elect of Yahweh by Shemi, I wish I be edified. And, uh, you know, let's get right into it. Right, so I have a good amount of scriptures that I want to bring forth. <clears throat> so, uh, let's get right into it. So first, let me get the book of Ecclesiasticus. The third chapter in the 28th verse Right, because pride, you know, is is one of the major vibrations of Babylon the Great You know And major of these, majority of these people are prideful Right, so let me get Ecclesiasticus, the third chapter, verse 28 And it reads, in the punishment of the proud, there is no remedy, for the plan of wickedness hath taken root in him. See? <clears throat> Let me also uh, jump to the fifth chapter and give verse three. Matter of fact, let me see. Bear with me one moment. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiasticus 10 and 7. <clears throat> and it reads, Pride is hateful before the Most High and man, and by both doth one commit iniquity. And uh, let me see, pride is the beginning of sin. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus 10 and 13, and it reads, For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Matter of fact, let me jump up. Uh, verse 12, and it reads, The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High, and his heart, talking about his mind, is turned away from his Maker. Right, because see, the Lord is dealing with the meek and the humble, you know. Right, the Lord isn't dealing with prideful niggas. Let me see, let me get Proverbs, the 11th chapter, verse 2 of uh, 2. And it reads, When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, the 23rd chapter, verse 8. And it reads, The sinner shall be left in his foolishness. Both the evil speaker and the proud shall fall thereby. Right? So lucky. Let me get a Proverbs. Bear with me. Proverbs 18 and 12. <laughs> And it reads, Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty, and before honor is humility. <clears throat> you know, and that's the part of putting off that old man, right? That old man contained pride, right? Let me get this really quick. This is uh, Colossians, the third chapter, starting at verse 9. And it reads, Lie not one to another, seeing ye have put off, Salakia, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Right. 
right? I believe there's another one, right? Ephesians 4 and uh, 21. And it reads, If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in your Hawashai, that ye put off concern in the former conversation, conversation mean a manner of life, right? The old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness. Right? You also got a Romans 12 and 2. And the reason, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. <laughs> right, so let me get a... <clears throat> Proverbs, the 16th chapter, verse 5, and it reads, Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. Right? Proverbs 29 and 23, it reads, A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. James 4 and 6, and it reads, But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, The Most High resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. <clears throat> right, Proverbs 16 and 18, and it reads, Pride go before destruction. And in haughty spirit before fall, better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. All right, let me get Galatians, the sixth chapter. <clears throat> Verse three, and it reads, for if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. You know, Proverbs 27 and 2, and it reads, let another man praise thee and not thine own mouth, a stranger and not thine own lips, right? Let me look up that word pride, right? So for the definition of the word pride, it says uh, a feeling of deep pleasure or satisfaction derived from one's own achievements. Uh, <clears throat> let me see. Here we go. So right here it says the quality of having an excessively, meaning, you know, like passing the limit. Right. Let me look up that word really quick. Right. So excessively meaning unreasonably, unnecessarily, overly. Right. Passing that limit. Extra, very, uh, unusually, right, and moderately too much. See, over much, right? So it says the quality of having an excessively high opinion of oneself or one's importance. Now, because you see it says confidence and self respect, but nothing's wrong with containing confidence and self respect, you know? Right, so, yeah. It's a lot here. <clears throat> let's see, uh, let's see what this is, Jeremiah 9 and 23. Jeremiah 9 and 23, and it reads, Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. <clears throat> let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glory of glory in this, that he understandeth and know of me, that I am the Lord which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. See? 
So, uh, you know, that's pretty much the point of this lesson. You know, I just wanted to bring that out briefly. And the water you help by Shami Awashai for putting the spirit on me to do this lesson. So with that, Lord willing, you were edified. Once again and forever, all praises, honor, and glorification unto our mighty, marvelous, and wonderful power. Call Halaim La Alahayan Awa Yahweh by Shimi Awashai, by Shim Rakakwadash. <coughs> Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone once again. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh by Shimi Awashai scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Wa Yahweh by Shimi Awashai. Baba Kasha, Ababa Ba. Wa Shalawam DTA soon and stay sharp. Keep pushing.